Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video we will talk about all of the updates that Zoho made from the start of 2024. Before I begin this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. And if you want to learn more about the different news and updates that Zoho makes, make sure to go to our Facebook group or LinkedIn group to get daily updates or subscribe to our newsletter to get updates weekly. So I want to start off with obviously the core of every business, Zoho CRM. There's a huge list of important updates that you need to know about. So the first new update is rich text fields. Using rich text, you can now enhance the visual appeal of your information with a variety of font styles, colors, and highlights. The next very important update in Zoho CRM are Cadence Studio. Cadence Studio in Zoho CRM automates and streamlines customer follow-up processes. So you can now create targeted sequential communications like emails, calls, or tasks based on customer interactions and behaviors. Another feature that is early access are process flows. The process flows enable you to provide your users with a much simpler and faster way to follow processes and best practices. Another feature that is now available is exposing web form as a link or a QR code and also being able to customize the actions on the submit of a web form, for example, adding a thank you page or a splash message. There have been also made some enhancements in Canvas. For example, there is now customizable tables in related lists. There is also now an ability to add subtabs and perform actions like multi-expand and single expand. And there is also some enhancements in activity extraction. So for example, you can get a multiple activity support and also capture commitments from sent emails. Some great news are also that CPQ rules are now supported for custom subforms and custom modules in Zoho CRM. There was also an update to vendors module. You'll now be able to send emails, including mass emails, and track your email conversations with vendors within CRM. And the last amazing update is a data model that gives you a visual representation of how the different entities in your CRM are connected. This can help you to understand the overall structure of your CRM data and identify the relationships between different and After Zoho CRM, I want to also mention Zoho Begin, a perfect CRM system for small businesses. And let's see what updates Zoho has made there. So Begin has introduced a new assign owner action, which enables you to select an owner based on roles, users, and user fields. Owners are then assigned using a round robin approach. There have been also some enhancements into the list view. For example, you can now resize the column, rearrange the columns with drag and drop interface, create fields from the list view, and there's some also actions menu for each column. For example, you can sort it, filter it, rename or edit the field, bulk update, add different columns, collapse, and move it to right to left or auto feed the column. There is also a new dashboard drill down, so now you can not only view the overview, but also access the underlying data. This allows for more in-depth analysis so you can get more detailed information about each dashboard component. And also there have been some updates to the new version of Begin for Android. So the two of the features were added, the org edit and details view. The next app on the list is Zoho Desk because there's also a huge number of different updates that have been made. So there have been some updates in Zoho Desk's instant messaging. For example, there is now multi-number support for WhatsApp users. Also, you can use template messages to reach out to customer even after the 20-hour messaging window. The I am custom actions gallery is now in Zoho Desk. And also you can now enable auto response for your business. Another great update in Zoho Desk is parent-child ticketing. You can now combine repetitive and interconnected tickets into parent-child units, work on them in parallel and offer resolutions faster as a team. This will help your agents to handle numerous customer issues simultaneously without becoming overwhelmed and losing productivity. And now you can also optimize ticket management with two new enhancements in Zoho Desk, which are Mass Revoke Blueprint and also skipping the reply in Blueprint Transition. And now let's talk about software development. I want to talk about Zoho Creator, but also about a new app that Zoho has launched 
Q Engine. It is an app that will help you to test your application. So again, the Soho Q Engine is a test automation software that helps test any application built for web, mobile devices, and APIs. It also helps test custom workflows and integrations with third-party applications. So it's a cross-platform test case app with flexible test case builder, also AI-aided self-healing and insightful reports. And let's move on to Zoho Creator. So Zoho has always announced a huge list of updates that will be made throughout this year to Zoho Creator. And I want to highlight the most important out of those. So the main updates are client tasks in Kanban report that has already been implemented, also device type deluge function, multi-column update in deluge, QR code and barcode generator, enhanced custom apps for marketplace, AI assistance for deluge, hybrid deployment, async function and private extension sharing. If you want to learn more details, I will leave the link to this page down below in the description box. And now let's move on to the finance apps more specifically to Zoho Books and Zoho Billing. So Zoho Books has enhanced transaction number series. You can now configure different transaction number series of your organization's branches right from the settings. Also, there's a highly requested update of displaying the aging summary of your customers' receivables and credits in their statements. In Germany edition of Zoho Books, you can also now generate and associate unique customers and vendors numbers for your customers and vendors respectively. And there's also some Zoho inventory add-on updates. For example, now you can export integration synchronization history and view in transit stock in item details. Moving on to Zoho Billing. And now you can create one-time invoices with plans and add-ons using Zoho Billing. Also, now you can associate a unique number to your customers, which reduces the risk of errors while managing transactions in the Germany edition of the hobby. Also, now you can create subscriptions from the quotes and a great update is now you can enable Apple Pay via the Stripe integration. And the last update in Zoho Billing is Aging Summary in Customer Statement. It will help you to view the outstanding payments for a particular customer with ease instead of generating the Aging Summary report. Moving on to project management, and I want to talk about the Zoho project first, but also about Zoho Sprints that got a full new version of the application. So a new version of Zoho Sprints looks so much better with a standardized user interface, unified details page, new portfolio view, also some updates to the fields, enhanced list and sheet views, enhanced backlog and scrum board, also improved filter capabilities, code and markdown editor, improved theme settings and improved speed and performance. So Sprint's mobile app also got some updates. For example, now there is available a time feature, activity stream in item details, complete log hours details with custom fields, and also some other enchantments like releasing fields in add edit log form and status and owner fields in the edit item form. Moving on to Zoho projects that got an Android app update and now it supports the global calendar functionality. Global calendar is a simple and secure functionality to help you organize events and manage tasks, issues and milestones seamlessly. And now let's move on to the HR apps, specifically Zoho Recreate and Zoho Workerly. Starting off from Zoho Recreate and a Microsoft Outlook add-in update. Now you can associate emails with records in Zoho Recreate and also add email attachments to the records. Another very exciting update in Zoho Recreate as a QR code feature for web forms, career sites and much more. And another absolutely amazing update is Zoho Recreate's premium Joe's posting integration with LinkedIn. Moving on to Zoho Workerly, which got an update of advanced filtering for a placement search. With this update, you can just simply click Refine Filter to unlock advanced temp matching possibilities. And another amazing update in Zoho Workerly is the introduction to the fixed and flexible shift patterns, catering to your diverse workforce needs. And the last update in Zoho Workerly is the additional photo clock-in or out options for temps. Administrators now have the ability to enable mandatory photo captures when temps clock in and out of their shifts. And now let's move on to all of the other applications where Zoho has made different updates. 
Starting off from Sales IQ that now got a desktop app for Mac and Windows. Moving on to Zoho Analytics that has enabled Live Connect for the HyperSQL database, also added the auto merge of user filters and got some enhancements for OpenAI Formula Suggester. Moving on to Zoho Social where admins can get their post approved for publishing. Also, you can add alternative tags for Facebook and LinkedIn and X and also you can choose the thumbnail of your video for the social medias. Moving on to the updates in Zoho Writer and first one is customized character. This feature allows you to create personalized character styles, giving you control over the font, size, boldness, italics, underlining color and other formatting elements. There's also some updates in the Zapier integration with Zoho Writer. Now you can generate customized documents in bulk with data from your desired applications and store them in the required folder in Zoho Work Drive. Also, you can generate code documents and send them for e-signature collection with this new action. And also, you can collect e-signatures securely with these actions in the Zapier extension. Also, you can create different types of documents like uploading documents with text or upload document with URL. Another great update is the integration of Zoho Writer with WordPress, so now you can post your documents directly to WordPress from Zoho Writer. Moving on to the updates in Zoho Bookings, and there is enhanced help widget with new features such as building screen recording, submitting support request, live chat and enabling edit access for a support team. And there's another exciting feature in Zoho Bookings. There's a copy services option that allows you to create a new service by copying an existing service and the Move Services option that helps you to effortlessly transfer a service from one workspace to another. Moving on to Zoho Sign that now partners with Ideology to provide dynamic knowledge-based authentication for recipient authentication. And another great update in Zoho Sign is that now it can automatically detect fields from the PDFs and assign corresponding fields automatically. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And also make sure to check out our Facebook groups and group our LinkedIn to get the daily Zoho news updates. And also subscribe to our newsletter to get the Zoho updates every single week. Thank you so much again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next week's video.